Um, excuse me, do you need any help? Um, well, I'm not sure, really. It's Rob, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Helen, I live at Bridge Farm. Oh, right, yes, I've, I've seen you around the village with your little boy. Henry. Right. Well, uh, I've rather foolishly invited Adam Macy and his partner for supper tonight, and I'm a, a bit caught in the headlights. Ah. <laughs> I came here before the supermarket because I've heard you do specialist cheeses. Mm -hmm. And what are you planning? Well, anything an idiot can put in front of a professional chef without feeling totally humiliated. <laughs> oh, Ian's <laughs> not like that. Who do you know him? Yeah, he's my best mate. Oh, right. Well, so you can fast track me. Sure can. Uh, well, here, have this recipe card. It's all in steps. Ah, spinach lasagna. Ah, uh, okay. He absolutely loves it. Straightforward? Very. The star is our blue cheese. It makes the sauce really tangy. And you can buy all the other ingredients here as well. Great. One-stop shop. <laughs> all except the meat. Unless you want to use veggie mints. Um, no thanks. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> Oh, if you're off to Pud, they're both fans of our toffee ice cream. Well, that's me sorted. Oh, uh, this says it's for six people. Have you seen Adam eat? Why don't you join us? Um... Well, otherwise, it's just blokes. And four's much better than three. Such a pity Ian's sous-chef rang in sick. He went to all this effort. Well, the food hasn't exactly gone to waste. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> I hope I can follow a recipe card. <laughs> Jess is a far better cook than me. She wings everything, but it always comes out right. Yep, that's like my mum. Well, you must tell her her toffee ice cream's terrific. Yeah, well, that's down to the organic milk. Oh, come on, you don't really believe it tastes any different. Uh, excuse me? Uh oh, you lit the touch paper there, mate. I bet you couldn't tell in a blind test. That's not the point. Ah, so you couldn't. You can't separate flavour from how the milk's produced. Anyway, I do think organic tastes are superior. Yeah, right. You're not going to win this one, Rob. It's a much higher quality product all round. The cows are allowed to eat grass outside for start. Um, well, at least our cows will know what to expect, not get hustled inside to eat their winter rations because it rains all summer. <clears throat> well, I think it's weird what you're doing up there. Some people think organic's weird. Oh, touche. At least our customers can trace our products back to the farm. Oh, really? Uh, I heard you'll be buying in your milk after the sale. Well, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. so that's a deceit, isn't it? Come on, back me up here, Adam. Oh, I'm staying out of this. <laughs> It'll still be local-ish. <laughs> Ish. Well, it's not as if we're buying it in from Romania or something. It'll be fully traceable. Who knows where your milk will end up? In a rubbery cheese slice in a supermarket in China, most likely. It's not my business where the milk goes. I'm just the herd manager. And that's exactly what's gone wrong with the food chain. No one can keep track of it. It's too big. Oh, please, not horse meat. I tried it once in France, Adam. Delicious. Oh. <coughs> what it tastes like isn't the point. If I can't believe what's on the label, that's a deceit. It takes away my choice about what I put into my body. It's appalling. Yeah, OK. It's been a shambles, I agree. Yeah, but it's symptomatic of a globalised industrial food chain out of control. We outsource to poor countries whose regulatory systems are, at best, suspect. Where cutting corners can mean growing rice in an industrial runoff. It's not safe. <laughs> but people demand food they can realistically afford. They, they can't all shop at Ambridge Organics. Hey! Uh, fabulous as it is. <laughs> Anyway, our milk will be totally safe and extremely high quality. Look, I, I know you have an interest, Helen, but independent shops just can't feed enough people. Look, I'm not a Luddite, and I don't have a knee-jerk reaction to supermarkets. But I do question their ethics and the rate that they're expanding. The global market exists for a reason. Yeah, to make profits for the traders speculating <sighs> on food prices. It's not the small farmers who benefit. No, I, I don't defend that either, but you can't turn the clock back. <laughs> it's not exactly practical for everyone to keep a pig in the backyard and a, a row of carrots on the windowsill. <laughs> we'll always need imports. I think you've just described Bridge Farm. Oh, <laughs> shut up, Adam. <laughs> the UK would be in a fix if we couldn't bring in grain the way that we've had. I do realise that. And I know you don't approve of big operations like ours. I don't. But at least we can supply at volume and securely, and that's becoming critical. At the cost of industrialising the countryside and destroying natural habitats. Oh, come on now, Helen. Farming's always shaped the landscape. Anyway, it would help wildlife more if people stopped concreting over their front gardens and kept a few nettles so the butterflies can feed. Well, 
I do agree with you there. Hallelujah. Oh, didn't have you down as a wildlife type. Ah, good. Then I've surprised you. You have, actually. I am a country boy, you know. Well, then you're a paradox. No, I've never been called that before. <laughs> How on earth did we get from toffee ice cream to butterflies? <laughs> Can't remember, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Have you got any brandy, Rob? Sure thing. Uh, in the kitchen. Hello? Or maybe a small one. Excellent. Sean Bettick. Hi, Jess. How's it going? <laughs> you got under his skin there, Helen. Was it too much? Too much? What are you talking about? He's loving it. Anyway, he's a big, strong man. He can take it. And an attractive one. I thought so. Oh, come on, Adam. <laughs> I couldn't possibly comment. <sighs> Why are they always gay or married? Oh, darling. <laughs>